Welcome back to part two of how to smoke a brisket, smoker setup, and smoking your brisket. So the traditional setup for smoking a brisket is offset smoking. So what that means is you're going to have your heat source on one side and your meat on the other side as far away from the heat as possible. So there are two things that I did to make my life as a smoker a hell of a lot easier. First thing I did is I invested in this Thermalworks Signal Series uh, temperature probe. This is going to monitor the meat inside the smoker. I can use my phone. I can check on it from inside the house. I don't have to be coming outside. But what really made it as a game changer is when I also purchased that Thermalworks billows that connects to the signals. So the reason that's important is because I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a, a probe inside the smoker that's gonna tell me the temperature inside the smoker. So if I set the smoker at 250 degrees, whenever the temperature inside the smoker goes below 250 degrees, that little fan kicks in, introduces more air or more oxygen into your fire, brings up your heat. Once it brings it up, it hits the 250, it shuts it off and it keeps it, it maintains it pretty well. I do have other videos that explain this whole process. I even did some testing. If you want to, I'll go ahead and I'll put a link on that uh, up here. But if you are interested in something like this, it would really help my channel out if, if you click on the links below where I have the direct links to the product themselves because I am an affiliate with them. Do appreciate it. That, that will help out my channel. Let's go ahead and prepare our uh, brisket so we can go ahead and stick them in the smoker. So just a quick recap here. Um, I did position my briskets with a fat cap down. That's just to protect the meat uh, from sticking in case it does stick. I did uh, set up my meat temperature probe, which is your uh, thermal work signals with the billows over there. I will be smoking these until I hit the internal temperature of 195. All right, that does it for part two of smoking a brisket. Stay tuned for part three where we're going to go ahead and um, rest it and slice it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in part three.